Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Schmeckeldorf, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. Now, the last episode, we unlocked the church. We finally got our graveyard to tip-top quality. I guess it's a you know positive quality, anyway, since it was so far behind. And we'd had our first sermon, very uh, very Jedi sermon. If you, uh, yeah, you know what? He kind of looks like Obi Wan a little bit, Clone Wars Obi Wan, but um. Yeah, now we are trying to figure out the study table, and we need some science. So I'm not entirely sure how to get some more science. Uh, we do have this recipe for a speed potion. That's going to be nice. Increase your speed. Uh, I looked it up off stream, and apparently you have to put paper or books or something into the study table. Um... I'm not entirely sure how to go about doing that. I can salvage some paper from this, but I'm not sure how to. If I destroy it, I'm 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 worried that if I destroy it, then it will just kind of ruin it forever. Uh well, let's try it. Destroy ruined book four. Oh gosh, I don't know. Hold on, wait, wait a minute. Let me ask the Oracle. Before I go doing something stupid. Okay, so I might be able to do something with these books. I think at this. Oh, there, there's Snake. He's still waiting for those gates to open. I don't know how to do it. Um. I mean, okay, wait. So this is the church, the church workbench. Maybe it's upstairs. I don't know. Can I build? No, this builds a chest. How do I get paper, man? Praying will be available next Sunday. Um, there's got to be a way. Because I need science in order to progress in any sort of thing. Maybe technology will help. Maybe that's the way. Because I, in order to get any of these blue... You get your first blue at the study table in the church basement. Yeah, yeah. So I have that unlocked, but... But how? Comfort of faith. Blueprint church bench. Candelabra. Love that word. I can create a flyer. <laughs> Prayer for prosperity. Um, Man, I'm not entirely sure. Writing? Create a desk. Oh. Well, that's kind of what I need. Paper crafting. That's the one. Church workbench. Yep, that's what I need. Perfect. I'm glad I uh, I'm glad I found it. So, I think if I go down here, I can make a church workbench. I need more flitch. I need more nails and more iron parts. Complex iron parts. Not just the simple ones. And I think I have a whole bunch of those. I think I might have picked them up. Uh, oh, I have one at least. So, uh, if there's unless there's anything else to explore in the small area, I don't think there is. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, head over to the house. And what is this? Donations? People gonna give me money? for holding the, the church sermon. Oh yeah, and this guy here. From the head of Royal Treasury Department, we are happy to congratulate you on reopening the church and the graveyard. Also, we are pleased to inform you that by using these lands, you have become a subject of royal law. All on-ground structures remain property of the Holy Church. However, all surface land and buildings that sit no deeper than one royal leap for royal spit as dictated by the ancient contract, belong to the royal family and the town. Through this mailbox, you may now access a vast array of services provided by the Royal Treasury Department. Your taxes may also be paid by mail. Have a nice day, and remember, King Joe the, uh, the Seventh loves you. King Joe, huh? All right. Oh, you can pay to remove bodies. Interesting. Citizen, rightful citizen, aristocrat. Um, 
Oh, I can become a citizen. And then I can get a royal stamp for 50 silver. Okay. Uh, a rightful citizen. Oh, uh, you can buy him for three silver. Um, I don't have... I have bronze. I'm going to assume that bronze is... Uh, probably like a 1 to 100 ratio, so every 100 bronze is probably going to be 1 silver. Every 100 silver is 1 gold. I'm going to assume that's probably uh, it's probably the way it goes. So we'll figure that part out later. Um, I don't, man, I, I just want a, a gate right over there. Be a lot nicer. Be a lot easier for me. All right, and Donkey is going to come around at some point with another body, probably. All right, we got some more of these. That's good. Let's... I don't have any complex iron parts. Hmm, how am I going to get those? I need a level two furnace. How do I get that? Probably through technology, is what I'm guessing. Let's, uh... <laughs> let's see what we got. Smithing! Advanced forging. That's what we're looking for. And I can upgrade to tools. I can also make some glass. Uh, might as well get, go ham over here. And we're almost at steel. Oh, wait, no, that's an anvil, too. But at least I know how to make complex iron parts. That's really what I was looking for. That's really the major uh, the major thing. Building. We're all good on that. The next, the next things are going to take some blue, which I don't have yet. That's okay. Uh, the progression system is pretty interesting in this game, I, I have to say. And I'm noticing that, like, a lot of my questions of, like, well, how do I do this? It all goes back to the technologies page. You just have to kind of look around a little bit. Figure it out, you know? That's okay. All right, so we're going to make a regular anvil now. Um, I think that means we could probably remove that wooden one. Yeah. I think all of my, my stuff is rusty. A rusty hammer? What's that going to do? All right. So let's make uh, two, four, six. I guess we'll make six of these. Okay, and now uh, I don't remember what else we needed to build that uh, that church workbench. I really should write these things down. Um, I think it's nails. Uh, I, I definitely know that it was um, this flitch. Which I think I actually might have a whole bunch of in this chest. Let me check. Yeah, I do. Okay. We got some metal scrap there. I think I can melt that down or something. Um, let's take those with me. And... Oh, shit. You never know. I'm also curious about these bat wings and slime. Once I'm able to do research, I think... Uh, I think I can research some of those things. All right, so the guy at the tavern said once I have more people coming into the church, then I'll be able to get some more money. And then uh, the flesh, that's a, that's a whole thing. I have faith. Ah, faith, inspiration, self-confidence, if you will. Anyway, it's as powerful as money. 
But is it though? In this game, maybe. Okay, uh, let's remove this. Let us remove this. I don't need that. Uh, and actually that, because we'll just switch them over. I'm gonna move it over there. A scope. There we go. Taking a little while to remove that thing. Boom. Got some more scraps. And we'll bring that. And we'll bring that right back over. I probably, you know what? I probably can't make it now. <laughs> of course. All right. Well, we got some more of those happening. Uh, let's put those metal scraps away. Casual prayer. Oh, you can craft them at the desk. That's good to know. Um, okay, so I think I just need nails, right? Hey, that's cool. I need one of those. Oh, hey, you know what I need? I needed to make a... I was a little too eager, man. I think I need that anvil. <sighs> just my luck. Okay, give me some firewood. Oh, I can chop down a wooden cross to make firewood. That's kind of cool that there's like a bit of a recycling system, you know? Uh, okay. Chopping down that billet. Oh, man. Oh yeah, I remember. There we go, dude. This bread is amazing. I'm gonna need a lot more food. I need to get on the food market, man. Get on that food grind, baby. Um, so I worked out the terms with uh, that other guy. I think this is the garden. So, oh, my property claim is over in the, the chest. Let me claim that property. Let's see if we can get to work. Uh, wait, do I not have the pro- Wait a minute. Huh? Huh? Is that it? No. Maybe that wasn't the guard. Maybe it was, uh... Was it up here or something? No, that's the Swampington. Little Swampsville. Little Swamperino. Is that not the garden? Let's go. This is the garden. Oh, this is maybe. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Hold on. Let me see. That's the village, the village. Yeah, that's a dude. That's totally a portal. Maybe that, maybe that's like a dungeon. Ooh, the vineyard, the kitchen garden. Yeah, that's that's it. Or sweet home, Alabama. And I haven't even been west at all. I don't even know if I can go west. I don't even know if I can go because I think in like the other episode I was talking about going into the town. No, this is totally it. Where did I put that thing, man? Did, did I have it? Uh, I don't remember. Anyways, let's... Uh... I'm just waiting on this thing. Come on, brother. Hurry up! Dude, I was late there. Come on. Is that the donkey? I think that was a donkey bell. Either that or it was a dinner bell. Hopefully it wasn't a dinner bell. Oh, and we can make glass now with river sand and water. Okay. All right, so let's load it up on fuel. Um, we can... Oh, that's going to make uh, some ingots real quick with some of that metal scrap I have. And I guess it pulls from the chest here. So that's kind of nice. Let's put this anvil back down. That way I can start working on 
other things. Yeah, I need some more nails, man. All right, so that we're just going to queue that up. Let me go see Donkey. Get some of that wee snaw. There he is. Oh, and you've got something to say? Say it with your chest. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're doing all right here. Yeah. Just open the church. So now you own everything here? Oh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> this kind of this kind of dialogue with these sounds kind of reminds me of Banjo Kazooie. Anytime the witch is talking, she's like, wah, 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 wah. kind of like she sounds like Miss Fowler, <laughs> or Jimmy Neutron. Oh, Jimmy! <laughs> You're a true capitalist now. Yeah, it's true. But this world uh, has so much, so has no such reward for a hardworking donkey like me. <laughs> Even you are benefiting from my cheap labor, I fear. I cannot call you comrade any longer. What? Brother. I won't just lie down and take it. Here's a little present for you. Did... Bro, did he just... He just pooped. I'm shoveling his actual... Oh, carrot seeds. Dude, we can use that, actually. Thanks for the poop. So what? Are you a cleric now? Seems so. Hmm, I don't remember anything after my death. Maybe there's nothing there. Or maybe I just forgot everything. Amnesia can be a useful skill. You know what I mean, my friend? Interesting. Interesting. So, the story, the plot thickens, man. Whoa, this body is half and half. Alright, let me claim your flesh. Delicious. Can I get any more body parts? Insert? I can insert? I can put flesh and blood back into him? That's interesting. Very interesting. Okay, well, let's take the body. I wonder if the, uh, the morgue, like, the more crazy witchy science I learn... Maybe that's how I make zombies. I can put certain things back into them and kind of, I don't know, perform some sort of ritual. All right, let's slap this body back in there. He's at negative three. Oh man. Oh, that's that's not that's not too good. Um, can we? Yep. Yeah, spruce this up a little bit, maybe. All right, it's a negative one. That's a little better. That's a little better. I see. So sometimes if like they're really horrific people in life, then we have to uh, kind of decorate their grave a little bit better in order for it to make a positive impact on the graveyard. That's interesting. Very cool mechanic. Uh, let's see what I need. Is my, uh, my brain just totally forgot, man. Oh yeah, no, it's right over here. Yeah, so, okay, so I'm going to need 10 nails. I have plenty of the iron parts, plenty of the flitch. I just need 10 more nails. So it's just a waiting game at this point. Um, all I need to do is... All I need to do is wait. Uh, let me put this stuff away. These are the things that I want to research. Let's put those books away. And we'll put the... Faith, I guess, in there. The blood, too. Nah, we'll, we'll keep the blood on us. Souvenir. Okay. I got another burial certificate. I'm going to put that in in the thing. In the, the chest over at my house. Interesting. So my goals now... Because I want to get those stamps one way or another. I think the best way to go about doing it is maybe sending it by mail. How many nails is that? Eight? Oh, dude, I just need, I just need a little bit more. A little bit more. We're just going to be pumping this out for a while here, so... Let's, let's pump it up. Y'all yeah, pump it up. Uh, put that away. Some more metal scrap in there. 
Yeah, there's my garden certificate. I mean, I was looking for it. For, maybe I'm just blind. Maybe I'm just blind, man. But we got some carrot seeds that we can um, that we can grow. I'm just gonna grab some well water here, and we'll claim the property. We can make a nice garden bed with sticks. We'll make one here. And I guess we'll make two of them. And I do want a compost heap. Uh, we'll do this. We'll... I like that they make it kind of easy for me here. We'll have this, the ones with sticks up here, I guess. I'm, I'm just going to wait until I get one more. Okay, um, let's dig her up. And we can plant some stuff there. It's a whole new adventure. Not enough energy. That's the last of my bread. Hmm. I think I can learn... If I didn't do it already, I can't remember. But I think I can learn how to transplant so I can start growing berry bushes in this farm. I think so, like, maybe I'll do, like, my whole bottom row is going to be berry bushes or something. Um... Okay. We got some carrots. And what, do we have to water them? I don't know if we have to water them or not. Uh, I'm going to take this road up and see what's up here. I got to, like, explore this area a little bit more. That burned house is interesting. Is this the whole, is this the swamp? That whole bit? Because I also have to, uh, I have another task to look for uh, another thing for the merchant, I think. All right, that's, that's still taking a little while. Let's take a look and see what we can grab. Oh, we can uh, get some slimes. Okay, is this this grass? Is this it? I don't know if this is the swamp, or if this is just like this. Oh, look at that! There's a there's a little farm there, an old farm. Yeah, I think this must turn into like a little river and a lake sort of situation. If I. Uh, Maybe get like, I don't know, like a powder keg or something to blast that. Um, so there, oh, there's, there's that. That's the last bit I need to make some more nails. And then I can go back to the church, get some churchy opportunities. And I'll get that desk made. I'm out of bread though. Do I have any other energy things i don't <sighs> yeah should, you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a sleep and then we're gonna go and uh build that thing do a sleep that's what i can do a little honk shoe i'm so refreshed and i heard the donkey bell while i was sleeping here uh we're going to check that out He's got more to say, huh? What do you got to say, donkey? One, two, three, four. Donkey deserves more. Carrots! What are you doing here? I'm on strike. <laughs> what does that mean? It means I'm tired of, not, of being oppressed. I'm not bringing you any more corpses. At least not for free. I have a list of demands. First, I demand better working conditions. Grease the wheels for a change. 
I can't keep listening to the squeak. Second, I need a day off. No more corpses on Sunday. Okay. No corpse on Sunday. And last but not least, I need better pay from you. These corpses aren't your property. They're like a natural resource, and I want my cut. Each new corpse will cost you five carrots in advance. You can place them in the special box here, and I'll take carrots from it. If you refuse, then you can find yourself another donkey. Oh, and there isn't another donkey. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. I guess we're building a special box, too. Good. Now just put the carrots in the box. I don't have any carrots yet. We're growing them, man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta wait your turn, man. One thing at a time, donkey. We'll get to him, though. We'll get to him. But first, we have some things to do. We have to make this churchy workbench. And I guess, you know what? We'll put it right here. That's a good space for it. I like that there's these little designated areas. It makes it a bit challenging, you know, but it's nice. Okay, so we have... We can make clean paper, pigskin paper, or bat wing paper. We can also make some hemp. Oh, dude, we can grow hemp. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Okay. So we can make some hemp rope, and that's going to be useful later. That's a special tool that will help us later. Uh, yeah, pigskin paper. So skin. Skin. We can... We can uh, commandeer some skin from a from an unfortunate individual, I think. Um, okay, the clean paper is gonna take some pigskin paper and then we just make it clean. Um, we need to kill more bats, maybe, or somehow acquire some skin. Uh, yet another task. We have three bat wings. Okay, um, we'll put this blood here. We'll put this blood in this thing. All right, so it looks like we're going to do a little bit of farming and we're going to have to do a little bit of exploration. Maybe we can find some bats. Maybe we can find some way to, to get some skin. I thought you can uh, salvage some paper from this ruined book, but maybe that's like another technology thing. Yeah, I don't see any, uh, oh yeah, get research, get, you can gather old books, blueprint desk, church workbench, pigskin paper, clean paper, I can create a story later on, that's kind of cool, yeah, but I can't do anything with, uh, salvaging the books, I don't see any way to salvage those books. Hold on. Let me let me take a look at how I can salvage a book. Yeah, you know, I'm not entirely sure. I thought this was the answer, man. I could have sworn. Pigskin paper. Yeah, I guess you can only really use skin. What? Then what do I do with the book, man? I don't even see like a... Oh, wait. I can gather old books, but what does that do? Random text generator. <laughs> Is that a thing? That's interesting. A random text generator. That's that's new. Scroll shelf. Bookshelf. Printing press. Printing press 2 electric boogaloo. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. But we'll save that for next time. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers here on YouTube. Um, hit that like button. It really helps the video, helps the channel. 
And hell, hit that bell as well. That way you know whenever I post a new video or whenever I go live here on YouTube. And speaking of going live, you can check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash xschmeckledorfx. Link is in the description down below. And thank you so much. We'll see you next time.